Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're having a lovely day. One of the things I've said on my channel for a while is not just that I use ad blockers, but I strongly believe that one of the best ways to start and get back any sort of privacy when it comes to our personal data is to instead, you know, I appreciate data protection legislation and try and privacy legislation that people try to push through. But what I really like to do is I'd like to remove the fundamental incentive structure that people have to collect that data. And the only reason that there is this giant demand for your personal data that there is at this point in time is because of advertising. Advertising is a big reason that many companies want to collect as much personal data on you as possible. And if the advertising industry went away, then you would see that a lot of the incentive structure to collect your personal data would go away. So while I would like to see more data privacy legislation that actually addresses some of the issues we talk about on this channel that is sensibly written, keyword sensibly, what I also like to see is the advertising industry just go the fuck away. And one of the things I've said in the past is to block all ads. I've all very, spoken in favor of something called uBlock Origin for a long time. It's a great ad blocker that you can get for your web browser, and it just means that ads just start to go away. I've also did a very long guide on how you can block things at the router level, and I built this into the self-managed guide that I have here. There's a um, table of contents over here that goes over ad blocking at the router level and how to do it. But what I wanted to go over today is another tool that I think is really awesome. What this does is it doesn't just block the advertisements, it actively fucks with the advertisers. It's called Ad Nauseam. This is a browser extension that goes out of its way to click every single ad, and the, what, what it does here is it will financially damage the companies that are using advertisements where you don't want them. So if a company sees nobody's clicking our ads, that's one thing. Maybe we just need to figure out where to put our ads. But if a company sees we spend $80 million advertising these particular products and services, and we have a $0 return on investment, you see where I'm going with this? So let's read it. Clicking ads so you don't have to. As online advertising becomes ever more ubiquitous and unsanctioned, Ad Nauseam works to complete the cycle by automating ad clicks universally and blindly on behalf of its users. Build atop of uBlock Origin. Ad Nauseam quietly clicks on every blocked ad, registering a visit on ad networks databases. As the collected data gathers, shows an omnivorous click stream, user tracking, targeting, and surveillance become futile. Read more about Ad Nauseam in this paper. Ad Nauseam is a free browser extension designed to obfuscate browsing data and protect users from tracking by advertising networks. At the same time, Ad Nauseam serves as a means of amplifying users' discontent with advertising networks that disregard privacy and facilitate bulk surveillance agenda. And if you click onto this, you get to see their paper. I think that this does more damage to the advertisers and more damage to the advertising industry, which needs to be done if you want to get back privacy than just using uBlock Origin by itself. I think uBlock Origin is great, but if you have the bandwidth too, I think it may actually be cool to use this. If you take a look at their paper, you'll see that it looks like there are less requests made and that overall you're going to be using a little bit less bandwidth if you're using uBlock Origin versus Ad Nauseam. So if you're on an ISDN connection or something, then yeah, you, using uBlock is the way to go. But if you have that little bit of extra bandwidth to waste and click on every single advertisement that shows up, just to screw with the advertisers a little bit more, I would highly suggest that you check out Ad Nauseam. I have a YouTube channel with two and a half million subscribers. Man, it'll be really easy to monetize the shit out of you if I started sponsoring this, that, and the other everywhere that I go. Um, I don't. I try to get you to download this because <laughs> I think that we would live in a better world. I think the content that you read, I think the news that you consume, I think that the programs that you watch would all be created differently if they were created in an economic model where we paid for the things that we found valuable rather than paying with our data. I'd like to see what that world looks like. Like imagine if you just put five bucks into a till and then every website just took a fraction of a penny from that particular till. And instead of just having to see ads everywhere that you go across the internet that are pervasive, invasive, and often data harvesting. Wouldn't it be nice? I'm open to that. I hope you are too. I'm installing this thing. I love this idea. Honestly, this reminds me of a program called Mugu Maruder. I haven't used that since I was a teenager, man. I, I couldn't legally buy cigarettes when I was using that program. But it was a program that would it, it would go to these websites from these 419 scammers. Uh, 419 is a, just a number that refers to a particular type of shitty website. I forget if it was 409. No, 409 is the cleaning fluid. 419 are the scammers. And what it would do, it, was, it would put the URL of different website uh, of images that are hosted on websites that are known scams. Like this is just a credit card skimmer or something else. And if the website could not be taken down by contacting the webmaster, then what they would do is they would just repeatedly download the image from the website until it used up their bandwidth limit. And there were a bunch of people that would run this program on universities that had gigabit connections and they would just destroy the website almost immediately. And this seems similar to that, but you're actually doing what they want, which is to click on the ad.
Everybody wants you to click on their ad, right? You just do what they're asking. I would suggest that you consider switching from uBlock Origin to Ad Nauseam. The reason I make that suggestion is uBlock Origin defends you. Whereas this not only defends you, but also attacks the thing you're defending yourself from so that hopefully in the future, you will never need to defend yourself again. This helps others. If companies realized that there is no return on investment from paying for targeted ads, they may just stop paying for targeted ads. Wouldn't that be great? Not having ads in your fucking fridge, ads in your face, ads in every app, ads in your car. Once all this Neuralink becomes popular and mainstream, they can have ads in your fucking brain. Fight back before that happens. Try out this web browser extension. Let me know what you think. I wasn't paid for this video. In fact, because this video is on YouTube, on a channel that is monetized, I'll probably be paid less as a result of doing this video. And that makes me very happy. I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.